Will the students and faculty please be seated. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Bob Bruner. I'm the dean of the Darden School. And I'd like to extend the welcome of the faculty and staff to the students, family, and alumni who've gathered from many parts of the world. It's my pleasure to open these ceremonies, and I'd like to introduce the people on stage with me and make a couple of remarks. We, uh, joining me on this stage are some of Darden's senior leaders. Sankaran Venkatraman is MasterCard Professor of Business Administration and Senior Associate Dean for Faculty and Research. Peter Rodriguez is Senior Associate Dean for Degree Programs and Chief Diversity Officer. Alan Beckenstein is Professor of Business Administration and Chair of the Academic Standards Committee that follows the progress of our students and certifies their readiness to receive the MBA degree. Also on stage are Yorgo Salianis, who is the Associate Dean of the Global MBA for Executives Program, and Paul Simcoe, the Associate Dean of the MBA for Executives Program. <laughs> this year we have four faculty marshals for the class of 2013. Professors Bob Conroy and Luann Lynch, here and here. They were elected by the class as faculty marshals. Also, we have Professors Brad Allen and Dick Brownlee, here, who they will retire soon from Darden and were selected as honorary faculty marshals. The class's selection of these four professors as marshals signifies the great esteem they hold for them and for teaching excellence at Darden. For indeed, the faculty marshals uh, represent the heart and values of Darden. They exhibit zeal for teaching. They support the students and take great pride in their success. They work hard writing cases and preparing for case discussions and conducting research. They come to class prepared, inspired, and ready to deliver the world's best educational experience for which Darden is so well known. Please join me in congratulating these four faculty marshals. I'd like to recognize members of the Darden School faculty and staff who worked so hard to prepare the logistics and details for this wonderful event. Some of them arrived well before dawn to begin preparing for your graduation ceremony. Their dedication is a hallmark of our high-touch values here at the Darden School. Please join me in thanking all of the people who prepared for this event. Finally, let's, let's acknowledge some very important people, the families and friends of the graduates, particularly the parents whose encouragements and very often whose self-sacrifice did so much to prepare and sustain these students for the high academic performance they achieved. Please join me. My job on this stage this afternoon is twofold. I need to hand out the diplomas, but first, I must set the tone for the proceedings. So let me begin. Today's ceremony is an historic event in that we honor the first graduating class of Darden's global executive MBA program. <clears throat> These students traveled far to come to Darden they traveled far during the program, and they will travel far as new MBA graduates. This prompts the following reflection. For this graduating season, the media will report a range of speeches by famous people, and one common theme of which will be to exhort the graduating students to move out, move away, move on. The notion being that they've had enough time with the cloistered academic life and that more growth awaits them out in the real world. Now, it's hard to argue with that, except that move out, move away, move on too easily becomes the mantra for professional life in general. Therefore, I choose to take the contrary view this season and urge all of you graduating this year to embark on a professional life where you hang on, hang in there, and make a difference. 
Let me tell you why. The evidence is growing that professional life and business is not just mobile, but it's getting a bit footloose. It is said today that today's MBA graduates are more like entrepreneurs than true employees, that they are more transactional than relational, and therefore more prone to move around frequently. There's an urban legend that the tenure of the MBA's job with him or her, his or her first employer, is short, about 18 months. I haven't found any rigorous research to support this, but conversations with corporate recruiters certainly affirm this urban legend. Now, you're not much wiser after 18 months than you were after the day of graduation, nor are you much more valuable. In one of my blogs, I urged, I urged MBA students to think about making a commitment to stay a while with their first employer. I called it the five-year hitch. I'm pleased to say that Darden graduates do stay longer with their first employer. Only 17% of Darden graduates changed employers within their first 18 months. And 41% of Darden graduates stay with their first employer for five years or more. But the behavior of many other MBA graduates mirrors the broader society. Surveys find that 61% of all employees are open to or are actively searching for a new job. And the median tenure of all job holders is 4.4 years. The median tenure of CEOs of the S&P 500 companies is even shorter, four years. In most industries, that's a fraction of the time it'll take to make a beneficial impact. And it's barely enough time to learn the nuances of a complicated position such as a leader or general manager. Then there's the statistic from census data in the US that 13% of all households change address every year. Such mobility is even greater among 25 to 34 year olds, 21% per year. This means that one out of five of you will move each year. Compared internationally, these rates of movement are quite high. America is an extraordinarily mobile society. On one hand, this produces a flexible workforce, but this contributes also to a rootlessness described by Robert Putnam in his book, Bowling Alone. Such movement is costly to communities, businesses, and charitable organizations, not least because your leadership is needed to tackle the problems and seize the opportunities that society faces. Ernest Hemingway famously said, never confuse movement with action. In other words, don't assume that moving a lot is accomplishing something. Consider the alternative. George David, Darden MBA class of 1967, worked for United Technologies Corporation for 23 years. He served as the CEO of that company for 14 years. The year he retired, he came to Darden and spoke to our community. His message was that commitment to an enterprise <clears throat> and continuity of leadership are hugely valuable. They produce high levels of domain knowledge, which becomes the foundation for high performance. If domain knowledge matters, then keeping planted in one's sphere is very important. In contrast, George David's chief competitor was Jack Welch, the CEO of General Electric. Welch believed in the theory of the best available athlete as the criterion to fill any managerial position. For instance, in picking someone to run GE's locomotive business, Welch might pick one who had been running operations in the light bulbs or medical equipment segments. His presumption was that if you've seen one operation, you've seen them all. George David had a different view. He believed that Appointing he believed in appointing managers who knew the business best. For him, that meant picking managers carefully and then growing them over long periods in whatever business they might be. The interesting thing is that Jack Welch's successor, Jeffrey Immelt, has di since disavowed the best available athlete theory. The big idea here is that continuity matters, domain knowledge matters, and persistence matters. You can't have much impact on the world around you if you are constantly on the move. Therefore, my advice is not move out, move away, move on, but rather hang on, hang in there, and make a difference. Dive into the challenges faced in your community. Make an in-depth study of your industry and your company's products and services. 
Volunteer to help with anything and invest deeply in building relationships within your firm. Not just with your bosses or your peers, but start with the humblest employee in your space. This could be the person who delivers packages or picks up trash or serves your coffee. I want to be clear that it may make a great deal of sense to move out, move away, move on if you distrust the leadership of an organization or if its ethics and treatment of people don't meet your standard or if you simply feel called into a different line of work. But even then, it may make sense to stand and fight for what you think is right. The influential economist Albert O. Hirschman argued that exit is not always the desirable or rational response to a disagreement with an organization. What matters is voice, the voice you can find and your depth of loyalty to the mission and values of the organization. It may seem ironic that I'm standing here today to help you, to help you move out, move away, move on, yet I'm giving you this message to hang on, hang in, and make a difference. Please understand, I'm not suggesting that you stay at Darden any longer than today. <laughs> but I am urging you to find your calling and to do so with loyalty to your values and vision for society. And this will entail persevering to build the organizations on which society depends. That's how you will have an impact in your career and how you will find fulfillment. Please accept my best wishes to you all for your ability to hang on, hang in, and make a difference. Thank you. It's now time to hear from our student speakers. Please join me in welcoming to the podium Marcus Cunningham, who's been selected as the Global MBA for Executives graduation student speaker to offer some remarks on behalf of the class. Marcus. Oh dear. It's not often that you sit there knowing you're about to contradict the dean. <laughs> Perhaps we should have gotten on the same page. I hope five minutes of class participation will get me across the finish line. Congratulations, everybody. Thank you to my colleagues in the inaugural Global MBA for Executives class. Thanks for sharing in this whirlwind journey. I'm going to start my remarks with a quotation. The simple fact is, the students we had at the start were the best students we had because they had the courage to attempt an untried venture. They took a chance. They took a chance. Those words fit the Global MBA cohort, cohort well, but they're old. That sentiment came from an original Darden professor describing Darden's first class in 1955. That class comprised just 38 brave souls. All male, all white, all American, not unlike every other business school of the day. But they were pioneers and they displayed a rare camaraderie that helped them succeed. Oh, how the times have changed. The Global MBA for Executives class graduating today is 13 students, only 70% American, very few of us are Virginians. We spent over two-thirds of our residence time outside of North America, not counting our own individual business travel. A schedule like that requires strong support, and our wives were always happy to have us return. As an aside, I must confess, we are a very good-looking bunch. <laughs> Half of us had babies during the program. After all, we are the most interesting men in the world. <laughs> Getting serious, not everything has changed. Much like that merry band of brothers in 1955, this year's global class, this international baker's dozen, has stretched Darden. We have taken Darden on the road, around the world, in a brand new program, and lived to tell about it. We learned that out there, some things are flat, other things are lumpy. Unlike Las Vegas, what happens in Rio doesn't stay in Rio. It fortified what we learned in China, and France, and India, and Germany, and before you know it, as one of my classmates recently said, throughout all these travels, our love for one another tripled. It must have been Paris. 
We sit here today ready for Dean Bruner to sprinkle that MBA fairy dust on our heads, and it feels great. What will we do next week? My first graduation, my, my undergrad commencement in 2001, it was at the United States Military Academy. Our speaker was a senior government official. He told us to prepare for big challenges overseas. Sounded mighty ominous. I think that was by design. He was right. He should have been right. He was in a unique position to forecast where he might send my West Point classmates. As the Darden finance professors can tell you, I have not mastered the art just yet of forecasting anything. <laughs> but I do have considerable expertise in feeling like I'm losing time, in changing my dreams, and in taking chances. I know what you're saying. Mark, take chances. That's easy when the stakes are high out on the frontier of freedom. Baloney. The stakes are even higher right inside ourselves. For there lies the frontier of our spirit. Darden has taught us that. It was true when Thomas Jefferson walked his hallowed ground. It was true in 1955. It was true on our early morning train out of New Delhi. <laughs> life is too short to be held hostage to our fears and to our careers. And life is far too long without a purpose and without a vision. So today I have a modest proposal. We should seek out large challenges overseas. Stop losing time, start chasing dreams, keep taking chances. Let us renew our commitment to the pioneering spirit that brought us here two years ago. Like that class in 1955, like the global MBAs, attempt another untried venture. We are prepared. Our rare camaraderie and our families will help us succeed. Congratulations. Thank you very much, Marcus. Now it's my pleasure to introduce Keith Crute, selected as the graduation speaker by the MBA for Executives program. First and most importantly, I, I want to echo Dean Bruner's earlier comments of gratitude to our families. I think there's no way that we could thank them enough for the sacrifice and support that made it possible for us to be here. Thank you. Uh, and thank you. So while we're on the topic of family, a uh, true story, about two years ago before all this started, uh, I received an email that read, Keith, we're both starting at the Darden MBA for Executives program this fall. Uh, we both work for the same employer, and we're family. Signed, Andrew Crutt. So now, my name's Keith Andrew Crutt, and there aren't too many Crutts in this world, so I'm kind of waiting for the follow-up email asking for my social security number and ATM pin. Uh, but as it turns out, Drew is in fact my second cousin and an exceptional human being at that. He's the good-looking guy sitting right over here. <laughs> he got the good genes. So I'm thinking that we have a, a new pitch here for the, the Darden brochures. Darden. We connect you with your unknown second cousins. <laughs> what do you think? Huh? No, no. All right, maybe not. Uh, but I know that we have something when we strip that down to the first three words. Darden, we connect. I can't imagine a more perfect phrase to describe this experience than that. We connect people, of course, our, our classmates, our alumni, our faculty. Uh, we connect business disciplines, HR, accounting, finance, and so on as part of the enterprise perspective. Uh, but we also connect business ethics and profit and sustainability. And we connect ideas. Uh, having learned that innovation happens at the intersections of existing ideas far more often than it does at the open highway of a single thought. And we've even connected with ourselves, finding a whole incongruent person among our, our work selves, our family selves, and our volunteering selves. We've learned to make these connections through asking great questions, through curiosity and listening. We focus on others because it's not about us. It's about those we serve as leaders. It's about the connection between empathy and data analysis, between humility and will to achieve, between conviction and agility. I think 
the, the thing that I'm, I'm most afraid of at this point is that in leaving this place for, for two years, we've just been surrounded by these people who are here to help us make those connections, to push us to ask that next question, to study contrasts until we see patterns. And it gave us this sense of what our work environments and our communities could be like when we truly connect, this sense of belonging. And now, now there's this danger that when we've made these fulfilling connections, when we've heard these answers to our questions, there's this risk that each year we're away from this place that we, we ask fewer questions, that we connect a little bit less. We need to be able to recognize when we don't have all the answers, when we're not seeing the connections. Otherwise, we lose our sense of urgency in seeking them. This becomes our constraints. This becomes our limits. That's why it's our responsibility as Darden graduates to lift up and see beyond our jobs, beyond our experience, our own opinions, to break away from our constraints and challenge ourselves to be bigger, to do it differently, to choose a mission, not just a career, and to devote ourselves to its pursuit, to invite others into this connected experience, this inquisitive perspective. In a few minutes, we'll get a degree that represents rigor and commitment to those that we serve. But just as important, I have a space reserved right next to it for my class photo, because your faces collectively represent this ideal to me, this, this sense of belonging, of challenge. It holds stories shared and stories yet to be written, stories that we'll carry forward with us as Darden leaders. Our companies need Darden leaders, our communities, and our countries need them. The future will be defined by those who make the most meaningful, the most diverse, the most innovative connections. It now falls to us to push each other and to bring Darden to those who haven't shared this experience. So let's go out and ask those difficult, difficult questions. Let's connect. There's work to do. Finally, please join me in welcoming Jesse Rosenthal to the podium. He's the student speaker representing the full-time MBA program. All right, thank you, Dean Bruner. Good afternoon. Like the Dean said, I am Jesse Rosenthal, and I'm a proud member of the full-time MBA class of 2013. <laughs> to all of the friends and family here who have come from around the world to celebrate with us today, thank you. Thank you as well to the Darden faculty and staff who make this place what it is year in and year out. And thank you to my classmates for asking me to speak on your behalf. I am honored. I'd also like to thank my classmates for all of the solicited and unsolicited advice they gave me <laughs> as to the content and delivery of this speech. <laughs> Some of the most fun suggestions bear repeating. They include copying everything Stephen Colbert said yesterday, <laughs> uh, explaining everything that we learned here at Darden, and then finally leaving the stage by saying, we didn't learn that mo money, mo problems. Uh, or my personal favorite, delivering this address entirely in Spanish. <laughs> Lo siento, amigos, pero no puedo. Okay. Now, this may surprise some of my family members in attendance, but last year I didn't talk too much in class. So I was confused early this year when a friend sent me an invitation to join a panel on which I would advise new students on how to best participate in class. The other folks invited were some of the smoothest, most silver-tongued folks in our entire class. So I'm sitting here, I'm scrolling through this email looking for clues on why I, of all people, would be included. And my friend must have known I'd be confused because all the way at the bottom of the email, right before he signed his name, he threw this in and I quote, Jesse, you are on this list specifically for how to stay cool when you get cold called and didn't do the case. <laughs> now, in my defense, I did prepare for my classes. Well, most of them. But if I didn't completely grasp a case, 
I didn't have to stress out too much because at Darden, and especially in the wondrous juggernaut that is Section E, I knew my classmates had my back and would rescue me soon enough by speaking up. And my amazing learning team always prepared me enough that even under heavy fire, I could still calmly answer the professor's initial probing questions. Hence, how I could, and I quote again, stay cool when I got cold called and didn't do the case. I loved this about Darden from the start. We do our best to help each other out and to keep each other from sinking. All right, I gotta confess. I had this fear when I came here that business school was gonna be a physical manifestation of pure selfishness. Every man or woman for himself. Competition at its purest. I'm talking hunger games here. <laughs> I may never have been so happy to be so wrong. Let's hop in the way back machine to January 2012, to the day I found out that a Prius can run out of gas. <laughs> One prominent recruiter had scheduled a problem-solving test for all the students they planned on interviewing. I was driving in that Prius on the way to that test when all of a sudden the alarm started flashing and beeping and the car stopped running. Uh, I coasted to a stop a couple miles from campus. I had 10 minutes to get to the test. I briefly thought about running for it, remembered how terrible I am at running, and then I called a friend who was also going to the test. I told him what was happening, and he volunteered to pick me up, even though I wasn't on his way, and it meant that he too would also be late. We swung open the doors of the testing room, sweating and out of breath a couple minutes after it was supposed to begin. They hadn't started yet. The proctor laughed, said, oh, you must be Chris and Jesse and told us to sit down and fill out the forms. That's exactly what I mean about not letting each other sink. I don't want to take anything away from Chris's kindness, but oddly enough, at Darden, this kind of behavior is more the rule than the exception. This is what I think we mean when we refer to this vague idea of the Darden community. Simply put, we want the best for each other. It's Dean Bruner guest teaching classes, it's Professor Kali opening up his home on the lawn for seemingly every student group. It's the countless professors who have never kicked me out of their offices, even though I'm convinced they must have some actual work to do. It's, it's the tutors who donate their time to help other students understand the hard subjects, and it's the outreach coordinators who push the rest of us to donate hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to causes in the local area. At the end of graduation speeches, the speaker often exhorts the audience towards action. Don't ever compromise your dreams, I might say. <laughs> Actually, that does sound good, but it's not what I want to say. I want to echo what Babe Ruth said. The way a team plays as a whole determines its success. You may have the greatest bunch of individual stars in the world, but if they don't play together, the club won't be worth a dime. We play together here, and you know what, we play damn well. Thank you for two phenomenal years, and I look forward to being part of this community with all of you well into the future. Thank you. We will now begin the process of conferring degrees. Senior Associate Deans Venkatraman and Rodriguez will place hoods on the candidates, assisted by our Honorary Marshals Brant Allen and Dick Brownlee. Associate Dean Yorgos Alianis will announce the names of the Global MBA for Executives degree recipients, and then Associate Dean Paul Simcoe will announce the MBA for Executives names. Faculty Marshals Bob Conroy and Lou Ann Lynch We'll alternate reading the names of the full-time MBA degree recipients and assist me in awarding the diplomas. Professor Alan Beckenstein, who chairs Darden's Academic Standards Committee, will assist with the recognitions. We'll begin by conferring degrees on those who have earned doctors of philosophy and dual degrees, and then we will award the Master of Business Administration degree. Let us begin. Ready? 
The following students have completed the degree in Doctor of Philosophy. Sean David Carr. Megan Floor Hess. The following students have completed the combined degree with Juris Doctor. Brigitta Elizabeth Loney Eichner. Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Hannah Na. Jason Anthony Penn. Brian Jisoo Yang. The following student has completed the combined degree with Doctor of Medicine, Martin Vander Burks IV. The following students have completed the degree program in Masters of uh, Business Administration. Abdurrahman A. Ahmed. Amit Bahadur. Jeffrey Michael Berkey. Barclay Spencer Bright Sr. Renzo Quadros. Marcus Eddie Cunningham III. Norman Kent Hepler Jr. Mark Joseph Levoda, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Yeah, get a gift. Louis Preble. Adam Walton Real. Matthew R. Rose. Dale E. Strickler. Imran Abbas. <laughs> Ramesh Venkata Anamredi. <laughs> Kenneth James Barker. <laughs> Taylor D. Boone. <laughs> Patrick Sean Caldwell. Matthew John Carullo, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. <laughs> Melinda Ann Kavekia. <laughs> Michael Conway Chapman. <laughs> Kevin Michael Coyne. <laughs> Douglas James Dennehy. Brian Matthew Drinkwine. Donica Aaron Elliott. Christopher Scott Forche. Jocelyn M. Gamble. Madhu Garlanka. Jason L. Hawk. Heath Daniel Heist. Sarah Denise Henneberry. Joshua Lee Hodge. Mark Andrew Huber. James J. Jameson. Mark, Richard Mark Johnson, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. And C. Stewart Shepherd Service Award. And the citation reads, for his exemplary service to his classmates, his cohort, Darden, and the larger Charlottesville community through his commitment to, to community service and outreach, whether it was conducting an exam review, tutoring an individual classmate, organizing a holiday clothing drive, or fundraising, 
Mark's leadership and commitment energized the cohort, resulting in significant impact both inside and outside of Darden. Forrest Wicker Jones, Fatih Kazan, James Gerald Kerr, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Martin P. Koritko III, Andrew Brian Krupp, Keith Andrew Krupp, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence, Sridhar Kuchimanchi, Sriram Kumar, Sherry Lynn Lucas, C. Stewart Shepherd Service Award. And the citation reads, as co-chair of the community outreach efforts for her class, Sherry embodied the core value of service to others. She believes that Darden is a vehicle through which much good can be achieved. Through her selfless action and innovative initiatives, she turned her beliefs into results by helping others in need, both locally and abroad. Sherry changed lives and brought great honor to her class, the Darden School and the University of Virginia. Gregory Patrick Lundy. Navdeep Kathoria Martin. Gwen Elizabeth Miller. Carlos J. Mendez, Jr. Timothy John Murphy, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Joshua Paul Newell. Kathleen Claire O'Leary, Brian Patrick O'Quinn, Stephen Alexander Pak, Jayashree S. Parak, Manoj Kumar D. Patel, Christopher Wayne Pritcher. David Gregory Robinson. <laughs> Philip Gregory Romans. <laughs> William Joseph Schaefer III. Joseph Vincent Swan. Jaswinder Singh. Stephen D. Sorgenfree. John Strohecker, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence, and the Darden MBA for Executives Faculty Award. And the citation reads, for his academic leadership in the Darden classroom, for consistently offering his ex experience and insights openly and freely, for challenging others constructively, and for helping his classmates learn, these qual qualities exemplify the equitable and supportive environment of the MBA for Executives program. Heidi Lynn Stump, Arun Subramanian, Susan Purvis Thomas, Nathan Isaac Thompson, Naisha Osida Walton, Heather Ann Whitford, Elizabeth Brennan Wright. Cyrus John Organo Akla. Mansi Agarwal. Arsalan Ahmed. Joshua Howard Allen. Brett Anthony Annunziato. Luis Miguel Arasque Baca. 
Osman Hassan Ashai. Carolyn Deanna Ostring. Adaraj Badial. Krista Elizabeth Baird. Priyanka Bajaj. Dennis Balja. Jack Stewart Bannister, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Allison May Barnes, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Jeffrey Thomas Barnhill. Sean Andrew Barrett. Brett Carl Bartles. Mary Purrier Bartles. Joseph Markey Beekman. James Harding Benedict. Marek Benko. Kevin Daniel Bennett. Arthur James Barons II. Corey Elizabeth Bergen. Allison Stewart Berkeley. Lawrence Hart Birdsey. Matthew Bishop. Hong Fan Bloom. Alexander Bogan. John Joseph Bradley, Jr. Brina Nicole Brown. Christopher Perkins Brown. David Michael Brown. Lee Morgan Brown. Amanda Lene Buckland. Kara Marie Bunyan. William Bradley Burnett. Caroline Marie Burns. Taylor F. Burroughs. Lauren Ann Byrne. Jeffrey Peterson Campbell, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Scott Clayton Karras, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Nunu Karepa. Uh -oh. Gustavo Carvalho Reese. Vanaka Chaguadera. Christopher Chan. Curtis Chan. Cockle Chowdhury. Paolo Cheng. <laughs> Wenxuan Cheng. <laughs> We're thinking about whether to give it to you. Vineet Changani. <laughs> Chad Bergen Chokel. Ryan Chung. 
John David Cody, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Campbell Peyton Craig. Brian Robert Kramer. Blythe Taylor Crane. Palmer Barrett Kurtz. Alicia Cushman. Anton Danishevsky. Charles Christopher Davis. Diana Mercedes De Arango. Oh, wait, 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 oh. C. Stewart Shepherd Service Award. And the citation reads, for her remarkable work as the president of the Retail and Luxury Goods Club, member of the Student Admissions Committee, member of the Graduation Committee, and class secretary. Deanna takes every opportunity to give back to Darden and is known as someone who always go, goes above and beyond in her countless activities. <laughs> Michelle Padavesi de Acruda. Pedro Miguel de Menezes Simues. Manuel Ricardo de Soto Ruiz. Ori Deckel, C. Stewart Shepherd Service Award. The citation reads, for his exemplary service as president of Gays, Lesbians, and Allies at Darden, co-chair of the Diversity Student Advisory Group, and vice president of Global Career Development for the GMO Club, Ori constantly rises to the challenge and has never wavered in his commitment to improving the Darden experience for diverse students. Eugenia Delgadillo. Daniel Denchev Denchev. Nadiej Marie Claire Destang. Eric Chi Dong. Bradley Charles Doss. Abhijit Dudi. Courtney Randall Dunleavy. Laura M. Durity. Vladislav Emilov Efremov. Ryan Stephen Ike. Abash Alushigun Elegba. Ann Lawrence Erdman. <laughs> Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Eduardo Escaro Quadra. Michael John Everard Wilson. Matthew Carey Fallon. Allison Lane Fast. <laughs> Jeffrey Paul Fetter. <laughs> Luis Augusto Ferreira Belloso. <laughs> Kenneth Michael Feneo. <laughs> Jeffrey Michael Flynn. Julian George Freeman. Robustiano Freitas. Jessica Shane Friedman. Rebecca Toby Friedman. Roy Shep Friedman. Marielle Furlong. <laughs> Amelia M. Garapi. <laughs> Heather Gates. 
Peter Yulchi Gavin. Brian Michael Gavron, C. Stewart Shepherd Service Award. And the citation reads, for his tireless dedication to the tutoring program, the Student Admissions Committee, Net Impact, Section B, Darden Bloggers, and the MLT program. Referred to as one of the most helpful behind-the-scenes leaders at Darden, Brian's incredibly kind and humble manner make him emblematic of the best that Darden produces. Matthew, Matthew R. George, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Francesco Giorgetti. Jonathan Dennis Gladden. Emily Morrow Glenn. Andrew James Gorman. Michael Alexander Chandler Graw. Grant Oaks Green. Jinyan Gu. Rohit Gupta. Benjamin Fowler Gurley. Andrew Carroll Hall. Bradley Reginald Halsey, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Dipendra Hamal. Joshua Victor Haddam. Taylor Payne Heaps. Taylor Elise Henry, Frederick S. Morton Leadership Award. And the citation reads, established through the Darden School Foundation in honor of Frederick S. Morton, who taught at Darden from 1957 to 1989, this award annually recognizes a Darden student for excellence in leadership and the faculty member who contributed the most to that Darden student's experience. The faculty recipient is announced in the fall. The 2013 Morton Committee recognizes Taylor Henry for her outstanding leadership in a myriad of activities, including Section A Social Chair, member of the DSA Outreach Committee, member of the Student Admissions Committee, VP of Corporate Relations for Graduate Women in Business, VP of Recruiting and Communications for the Finance Club, COO of Darden Capital Management and class agent. An enormously, an enormously dedicated community leader who sets high goals and achieves them, Taylor is also an inspiration for those who look to balance health, faith, and relationships. The difference she has made in the Darden community is widespread and heartfelt. Leo Anthony Hergenroder, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. McGregor Hallway Hill II. Samuel Hua Huang. Bridget Suzanne Hudson, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Tony Jiahao Hung. Reuben Isaac Hunter. Elena Kirilova Ilicheva. John Thomas Ingram. Robert Langley Jeffrey. Alexander R. Johnston. Jehun. Chung. Ozge Kalmish. Anish Uni Kanan. Jonathan Gordon Kaplan. Aditya Vivek Karandakar. Sandip Karmakar. Lauren Dale Keller. Tarun Keshwani. 
John Patrick Kiernan, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Dan Ho Kim. Yuen Kim. Christopher Michael Koser. Michael Swanson Kovars. Kevin Robert Critchman. Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Kartik K. Krishnan. Jennifer Lee Crondon. Christopher Cooper. Robert Peter Layler III. Kevin Lee Lamb. Edward Hofler Lomedy. Owen Gregory Larkin III. Sean David Lauer, C. Stewart Shepherd Service Award, and the citation reads, for his outstanding service as a founding president of the Darden Business Design Club. Sean created opportunities to enrich the lives and learning of Darden students through bringing in new speakers, offering recruiting assistance, and running workshops, all of which have created a community where non-traditional students have felt welcomed and supported. Christopher Dalton Levine. Latte Adam Lawson. Philip Jacob Lee. Lady D. LeBron. Daniel Young Hoon Lee. Monique Javita Leo. Hillary Morgan Lewis. Elizabeth Lim. Juo Lim. Benjamin Lim. Lin. Charlie Lin. Volodymore Loeb. Jeffrey J. Love. Andrew Peter Luce. Ankaksha Luther. John McCaskill. Matthew John Macniak. Jason Robert McCree. Arpita Mel, excuse me, Maheshna, Hesh, okay, excuse me. <laughs> Arpita Maheshwari, thank you. Paul Frederick Arlasso Monlepic. Connor James Manley. Christopher John Moraney. Benjamin Abram Margolis. Juan Maria Massot. Aaron Elizabeth Matthews. Justin Joseph Mayer, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Matthew Robert McFarlane. Jennifer Home McGee. Catherine Rhea McIntyre. Pratik Rajesh Mehta. 
Amram Migdal. Stephen Matthew Miller. Timothy Matthew Mister. Chase Lanier Mizell, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Adriano Molina Monago. Gregory Charles Molnar. Patrick James Maloney, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Yoko Mori. Taylor Bryce Morris. John Tillman Morton. Allison Septop Mosley. Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Andrew J. Mueller. Sankara Pandian Muthumu. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Musu Kumar, I'm sorry. <laughs> Vidya Narayanan. <laughs> Sophie Balsam Nemes. <laughs> Michael Cortland Nexon. <laughs> Laurel Trang Gwen. Adrian Nino de Rivera Frost, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Adobe Felipa Noli. Takoro Noguchi. Karina Nunez Rojas. Matthew Morris O'Corner. L O B K R O G. Merritt Allard Osborne. Cortland Cunningham Oots, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Tushar Pandey. John Cromwell Parrott III. Borja Pastor Garcia. Vincent Pelletier. Lauren Page Pletner. Ryan David Pop. Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Shilpi Prasad. John Christopher Beebe Purvis, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Elizabeth Putsey. C. Stewart Shepherd Service Award. The citation reads, for her tremendous leadership as Executive Vice President of the Darden Student Association, Liz's commitment to working with faculty to enhance the curriculum offerings and determination to plan a new election system are unparalleled. When Liz sees something that needs to be improved, she takes responsibility and leads. <laughs> Namrata Ram. Pravath Ramachandan. Thomas F. Rapp, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Rasmus Kerr Rasmussen. Kyle John Redinger, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Dorothy Elizabeth Reifenheiser. Willis Gerald Reuter. Justin Parker Ridgely. 
Bryce Allen Robbins, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence, and C. Stewart Shepherd Service Award. The citation reads, for his de dedication and service to the Cold Call Chorus, Toastmasters, and Darden Prisoner Entre Entrepreneurship Program, Bryce re-energizes the Cold Cold Chorus through creative arrangements and humorous lyrics. Bryce is respected and admired by his peers. It represents the best of Darden, someone who gives back to the community, home and beyond, with selfless grace. Agnes Roberts. Christopher Harold Rodriguez. Jose Andres Rodriguez Rivera. <laughs> Lucas Mark Rogers, Faculty Award for Academic, Academic Excellence. Mark Robert Rohde, Jr. Ramon Romero Gonzalez Llanos. Avia Carolina Rose Avila. Jesse I. Rosenthal. Palavi Sumanu. Paul Edward Samir. Peter Sauerwein. Keith William Shellhorn. John Hamilton Shearer III, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. <laughs> Leslie Ann Schmidt. <laughs> Martin Livingston Schneider III. <laughs> Janet Alcorn Schroeder. Matthew Gordon Schultz. Matthew Wayne Schultz. Zoe Johanna London Schwartz. Stephanie Lauren Schaefer. Ruchika Shama. Kathleen Graciela Sheehan. John Henry Sheehan IV. Andrew, excuse me, Andrew Reed Shimbob. Song Min Shin. Masayuki Shiota. Christopher James Short. Allison Ambler Shuford. Yannick Dior Shikam. Sikam. Sorry. Sarabi Singh. Jeffrey Clark Schmidt. Floyd Orlando Smith. Just, me, Justin Timothy Snyder. David Matthew Solana. Megan Cannon Sparkman. Faculty, excuse me, C. Sailor Shepherd Award. Citation reads, for exceptional vision that expanded the scope of building goodness in April and commitment to the brand challenge. Under Mager's leadership, the BGIA project budget doubled. A fall event was added to generate interest earlier in the academic year. And for the first time ever, non-Darden UVA students and faculty participated in the Bill Day. <laughs> Maureen Elizabeth Sperling. Warren Frank Stewart. <laughs> Brian
Brian Anthony Strickler. Ten Su. Andrew Thomas, excuse me, Andrew Thomas Sizek. Hao Tan. Elizabeth Campbell Tang. Jeffrey Tang, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Catherine Tsao Swan Tarasoft. James Henry Thomas III. Matthew Robert Thompson. Nicholas Hecker Thompson. Richard Porter Thompson III. Rodman K. Tilt III. Lisa M. Terrell. George Cameron Todd III. Elizabeth Karen Tomek, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. David Tu. Eric Lewis Turner. Zane Curtis Ullman. Bruce J. Van. Fred Vieira. Peter Imantz Vilkins II. Richard Baldwin Voss. Marley Beitzel Bredenberg. Natalie Hart Wadsworth. Saul Waller, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Liang Wang. Sarah Jane Washerbaugh. Elizabeth Mealy Weber. Stephen Patrick Wagner. Lisa Werner. Kevin Lee White. William Frazier Wilkins. Bernard John Williams III. Jeffrey Michael Willis. Zhao Zhao Zhang. Jian Yang. Chu Hong Yu. Julie Ann Young, Faculty Award for Academic Excellence. Chu Yi Zhang. Paolo Zulian. Let's hear one more round of applause for the new graduates. Thank you very much. Our tradition in concluding the graduation ceremony is to hear a farewell song, The Irish Blessing, sung by Darden's Cold Call Chorus 
a group of students, faculty, and staff. Please welcome them to the stage. On behalf of us all, I thank the Cold Call Chorus for that touching closing to our ceremony. In concluding these proceedings, I will make one final comment to the class of 2013. Please go to the steps at the front of Saunders Hall for your graduation photograph. Everyone else, guests, loved ones, family members, can find lunches available in the, faculty, in the uh, classroom building uh, over to this side of the courtyard. Um, you will find uh, box lunches there, and in keeping with Darden's vision to be a zero-waste enterprise, please recycle your lunches in the labeled recycling containers. My thanks to all of you for joining us this day. This ceremony is concluded. Good day.